Math Bites! Good evening, or morning, depending on when you're looking at this video. Dr. James M. Nuclear here with another Math Bite. Today I'm going to talk about the Fraction Flipper. The Fraction Flipper is a device we invented to teach the reciprocal what it is and how to use it. A simple device, what you want to do is just write a number on top, say 3, and write a number on the bottom, say 7, and then you can show them how to, hey, take the reciprocal. A wonderful handy device, and I'm going to show you how to make it. The fraction flipper, or you could call it the reciprocator, is constructed out of two of these classroom whiteboards that are given to students. You can find these at school supply stores or order them online. They have a grid on the back. They're a very handy, convenient thing for other lessons, but they work well also to construct a fraction flipper. You'll need two of these, and then you'll need just a device called a flange. This is pretty critical because it changes the angle and allows you to stick this large device and have an extension so that it will go through a piece of construction board. So, you get some epoxy and maybe some duct tape you find the exact center of your board and you stick your flange so you stick your flange to your small whiteboard like so then you simply drill holes in appropriate places in your poster board try to make them straight down the center, straight above one, each, one another, and as you can see, you just put the flange through the hole that you drilled, and maybe use some hot glue or some rubber bands to keep it there, keep it from falling back through, and you've got a nice handle that you can grab onto for each of the whiteboards. Now, you can draw whatever numbers you want on the whiteboard, and you are ready to flip. Ha <laughs> Flip! There's no way that a student will not understand reciprocation after you use this device. No way whatsoever. And what's cool about it is since it is whiteboard material, you can use, uh, you can, uh, well, you can uh, normally, uh, ooh, make sure you use a dry erase marker.